In today's video, I will teach you how to make a custom sweatshirt and hoodie design in Canva. Let's get started. First, open Canva and in the search bar, tap in the keywords hoodie or sweatshirt and hit enter to view all apparel templates. There are thousands of templates to choose from. And if you have a specific design in mind, simply enable the filters on the left side to remove the designs that you don't like. You can also choose the theme as well as the color palette of your design. Also, take note of the tag attached to the template. If the template has this crown tag, it means that you need to upgrade to Canva Pro to be able to use this template. Once you've chosen your desired template, you can now customize it in accordance with your preference. In the Elements tab, you can add lines, shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, videos, audios, charts, tables, frames, grids, and collections that contains a graphics pack. You can also upload your own pictures and videos to make the design look more personal. And in the text tab, you can set your text as a heading, subheading, or a text body. And you can also choose among the font combination presets to make the text look more interesting. Canva also has a print-on-demand option wherein Canva will print your design on their sturdy and breathable cotton blend material made with 80% ring spun cotton and 20% polyester. They also offer sizes from small to 2XL and colors from black, heather gray, charcoal heather, and navy blue. However, the hoodie and sweatshirt prints are only available on selected areas. Here's the list of countries wherein Canva's print-on-demand service is available. But if you would like to print the design on your own, you might want to consider flipping the design based on your transfer paper's instructions. To do this, you can simply download the image first and make sure to save it either as a PNG or JPG and re-upload it on Canva. Now, click on the image and select the flip option on the top panel and flip the image however you like, then resize the image once again. Finally, you can now download it and print it on your transfer paper. And you're done! If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.